The first point we need to be aware of is that whilst Sam Broadcaster, Sam DJ and Sam Cast each include these audio processing options, only Sam Broadcaster and Sam DJ provide AGC for each audio source, which means AGC for Deck A can be configured independently from the AGC for Deck B, the sound effects, voice effects and the auxiliary decks. One deck might only need to be configured and these settings saved and applied across all decks if necessary, whilst both the sound effects and voice effects might not need to use AGC at all. Samcast can only apply AGC to the signal being encoded and therefore only has one set of configuration options. To configure AGC we must first locate it, and there are a number of ways we can do this, but to start this tutorial, within Sam Broadcaster or Sam DJ, we will simply select Config, Audio Mixer Pipeline and then click one of the AGC buttons available. We only need to select Sound Processing in Samcast to bring up the same window. Before we look at the AGC, let's have a quick look at the Audio Mixer Pipeline within Sam Broadcaster and Sam DJ. As we can see, each audio source has its own AGC, however there is an additional AGC which affects the final output here. This gives us the option to be total control freaks and tweak AGC on each audio source or we can simply adjust the settings on the final output. For this tutorial, we will just be using Sam Broadcaster and we will be using Deck A to demonstrate AGC. We can then save these settings as a preset to load into Deck B if we wish. You might decide to use raw input from the decks and just apply a little tuning on the final output but this would also affect both voice and sound effects. 